hey, what if we make this easier and you focus on the actual content of three amino acids? So we're going to take a subset of essential amino acids, methionine, leucine, lysine, and we just want you, Peter, to walk around and make sure you get enough of those with each meal. And if you do that, the rest will take care of itself. Is that effectively what you're saying? That's, that's exactly what I'm saying. If you look at Diaz scores right now, um, the amino acid scoring, A, I've already said is too low, but if you look at how they're scored, they're not scoring apples and apples, they're scoring apples and oranges. <laughs> All, all legumes, like soy or pea, are limiting or deficient in methionine. And you score that against whey, what you end up is the limiting amino acid in whey is considered histidine. Mm. And no one has ever shown histidine to actually be a limiting amino acid in an adult. It's a limiting amino acid in children, in babies, So if you compare methionine to methionine, it's not 20% higher, it's 250% better. Apples and apples, we need to compare them across the three essential amino acids that are actually likely to be limiting. So now we've got an issue of mTOR and whether it needs to cycle on and mm -hmm. off. And not only does leucine turn it on, but so does insulin. Yep. And so probably the worst case scenario, and you can use a lot of animal studies to back this up, would be people who eat a lot of small carbohydrate meals that continuously activate mTOR. What we wanna do is use specific meals with the right amount of insulin to activate muscle-centric uh, mTOR. mTOR is in every tissue, and what you don't wanna do is continuously activate it in liver or some other tissue. And so that's where the confusion gets into Absolutely. it, is people ignore the fact that insulin is just the biggest trigger in other tissues, where leucine's a very unique trigger in muscle. If you look at limiting amino acids actually in food, lysine is always limiting in grains, and that has been shown in animal science over the years. That's a, that's a major limitation in how you feed, what the minimum amount. Uh, so that one is probably limiting for protein synthesis. Uh, we need about 3.4 grams of lysine per day. We need probably a little less than one gram of methionine. Hmm. So they're not in the same proportion either. Uh, but the methionine is what we call part of the one carbon pool. And so basically for the body to make and repair DNA, to make and repair RNA, to make taurine downstream, to make the non-essential amino acid cysteine, to make glutathione the oxidant, methionine's the key to all of those pathways. Methionine is one of the most limiting and it's limiting in all legumes. So we think of soy and pea and a lot of, you know, and, and lentils and things of that nature as higher quality protein they are, but they're still limiting in methionine. Annotated and summarized. Easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.